Hello children, how are you all? Hope you all are fine and doing well. My name is Naresh. Welcome to our channel Physics Plaza. Children, uh, in a today's session, we are going to discuss the consequence of high specific capacitor water. High specific capacitor water. So, before uh, getting into the topic, we need to recall two things. It's very very important. What is that? Water has high specific capacitor water, and its value is one calorie per gram degree Celsius. It is in a CJ system. Whereas in SI system, its value is 4200 joule per kg Kelvin. Joule per kg Kelvin. This is the value of the specific capacity of the water. And how specific capacity of any material is related to the change in temperature? It is also very important. Children, the specific capacity of any material is inversely proportional to the delta t inversely proportional to the delta t which means what the material with high specific capacity will show less rise in temperature or less fall in temperature whereas the material with less specific capacity will show more rise in temperature or more fall in temperature so these are the two things which we have to remember okay it's fine so, under these consequences, let us discuss the first one. So, the climate near the seashore day actually it is a moderate actually. So, how it is a moderate? For that actually land breeze and the sea breeze can make the uh, climate near the seashore actually moderate. But how this land breeze and the sea breeze can occur? Children, land breeze can sea breeze can occur just because of difference in specific capacity of water and sand. So, first let us discuss how sea breeze can occur. Dear children, sea breeze can occur during daytime. During daytime, you have to remember that. And one more very important thing is that the specific capacity of water is almost 5 times greater than that of the specific capacity of sand. Specific capacity of sand. So, here water and the sand in which water has highest specific capacity highest specific capacity just we have to remember children during daytime so same amount of heat is given to the water and the sand children here for same amount of mass and the same amount of temperature water will absorb more amount of heat so during daytime what happens as same amount of heat is given like a to water and the sand here as a specific capacity water is more and the specific capacity of sand is less. So, what happens? The surface temperature means here sand gets heated faster. Why? Because its specific capacity is less. So, as the sand is getting heated faster, its surface temperature will be more than that of the surface temperature of the water, which means here high temperature will be there here, high temperature, whereas here low temperature will be there. So, due to which what happens dear children? So, whatever the air is there, whatever the air is there, above this sand, above this sand gets heated faster due to which its temperature is increased. Dear children, in the previous class which we discussed, what is that here? Density is inversely proportional to the temperature. So, here as the air which is above the sand, its density is decreasing, its density is decreasing it will become lighter. Why its density is decreasing? Because it is getting heated faster than compared with the air above the water. So, as its density is decreasing, it will become light. So, that what will happen? Light air will move up. Light air will move up. So, that what happens here? A region means low pressure region is created above the land. Low pressure region is created the land. To compensate that low pressure region, region dear children here, Cold breeze from sea will move towards land. Cold breeze from sea will move towards land. Thereby cause sea breeze. Sea breeze. Shall I repeat once again here? As sand specific capacity is less, so that what will happen during daytime? It gets heated faster due to which its surface temperature is increased. So that what happened? The air which is above the sand gets heated its temperature increase due to which the density decreases so it will become lighter and will be raised up so that here there is a low pressure region is created 
to compensate that low pressure region to compensate that low pressure region the cold breeze from water sea will move towards sand is called actually sea breeze children can copy it and it's a very very important it is because of what specific capacity of water only it is happen yeah children hope you have copied now let us see how land breeze can occur children land breeze can occur during night time during night time land breeze can occur land breeze can occur now let us take the same situation here is a water surface and let us take here is a sand here is a sand and here is a water here is a water the children so during night time during night time the atmospheric temperature will go to the minimum but here as a sand specific capacity is less the fall it means it only will show mean the surface temperature of the sand will go to minimum try to understand here already we discussed the specific capacity is inversely proportional to the delta t so the material with less specific capacity will show more rise in temperature or more fall in temperature so during day time during day time as sand has high specific capacity it will show more rise in temperature but whereas during night time as it has a less specific capacity it will show more fall in temperature means by this time what happens during a night time the surface temperature of water will be more so here let us write here more temperature and here it will be less temperature so due to which what happens now the air which is above the water gets heated more when compared with the air which is above the sand so as the air which is above the water is getting heated its temperature is increased its temperature is increased and density is inversely proportional to temperature so what happens here the air which is above the water surface density will be reduced will become less due to which it will become lighter so that it is raised up so the air above the water surface will move up thereby here low pressure region is created low pressure region is created to compensate that low pressure region the cold breeze from land will move towards 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 sea towards sea is called actually sea breeze is called actually sea breeze children repeat once during night time what is happening as a sand surface what are specific capacity is less so the fall in temperature also more as its specific capacity is less fall in temperature will be more and water specific capacity is more so fall in temperature will be less so here the surface temperature of water will be more than that of the surface temperature of the sand so due to this difference what happens the air above the water gets heated faster due to which its density is reduced will become less so that it will become lighter so it is raised up thereby low pressure region is created to compensate that low pressure region to compensate that low pressure region to compensate that low pressure region the cold breeze from sand the cold breeze from land will move towards sea is called actually land breeze children this is how actually land breeze and the sea breeze are occurring and this land breeze and the sea breeze can keep the climate means climate temperature so like a normal so it won't be like a temperature may not go to high or may not go to low so that near the sea shore you know the atmosphere will be very very nice okay children fine a farmers fill their fields with water to protect the crops from frost actually children if you want to understand this let us recall the concept of anomalous expansion of water the children once the temperature of the water will go below 4 degree celsius like a 4 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius instead of getting ex, uh, instead of getting actually contracted water will get expanded it's very very important that is what actually we can call it as a anomalous expansion of water when temperature falls below 4 degree celsius water will expand water will expand so this is a point which is very very important in order to understand the concept here so why actually farmers are filling the fields like uh, with the water only dear children let us take here is some crop or field something and it is completely filled with water let us take here something like this dear children during especially cold winter nights the temperature will fall you know below 4 degree celsius due to which the water which is in fine capillaries fine capillaries of this you know paddy and the crop and everything will expand due to which the veins will get burst so what happens complete crop will get destroyed actually 
to protect that to protect that somebody someone should control the temperature somebody should not allow the temperature to go to minimum then who is that someone that is a water so as the field is filled with the completely water what happens as a water has highest specific capacity it does not allow the atmospheric temperature to go to the below 4 degree celsius or below 0 degree celsius so that what will happen crop is protected crop is protected so this is why actually farmers fill their fields with the water <coughs> to protect the crops from the frost okay so water is used as a effective coolant why water is preferred why water is used as actually effective coolant children uh, generally in a factories or even in a vehicles also let us take uh, some vehicles like a car or something like this you know what happens when like you know car will work continuously will run continuously then what will happen the fuel will get burnt actually that will give you energy due to which what happens the machine parts will get heated actually machine parts get heated once they'll get heated actually very much the temperature is raised so temperature will become more so they may not function properly so either you can take in a factories or you can take even any vehicles you know the temperature is increased continuously so the machine parts may not function properly then how can we control the temperature how can we control the temperature there actually we use again water children for suppose for suppose let us say here is a uh, one part of the machine let us suppose just some suppose it is some machine part let us say and due to some reasons you know it is getting heated it is getting heated so here what happens you know what will be the arrangement setup you know around this so there will be a you know uh, arrangement setup will be there arrangement setup will be there so that as a like a you know uh, what a machine is working continuously what will happen you know so the water will be flowing around it water will be flowing around it so once it gets heated so what will happen more heat is generated but whatever the heat which is you know emitted you know that is absorbed by the water that is absorbed by the water and here very important thing very important thing though water can absorb more amount of heat so its temperature is not raised much why because of specific capacity of water so this is the reason why water is used as a coolant in a car radiators in some other places where machine parts gets heated faster okay children so this is why actually water is used as a effective coolant fourth one it is water is used as a heat reservoir for wine and juice bottles to avoid freezing the children in a cold countries usually the temperature will be very very minimum 4 degrees 3 degrees 5 it is a common so what happens the wine bottles or the juice bottles means the wine and the juice which is in the bottle will get frozen very easily then to avoid that problem actually to overcome that problem what do they do you know the wine bottles and the juice bottles are placed in a water actually why they should be placed in water means the children as a uh, specific capacity of water is very very high so before reaching its a freezing point of water you know it can provide more amount of heat for a long time so for example here you know let us take here is it's a completely filled with the water let us say this is completely filled with the water and here one wine bottle let us for example our juice bottle is placed one wine bottle or juice bottle is placed for suppose the children the atmosphere temperature is falling to 4 degree celsius and 3 degree celsius and 2 degree celsius it will be like falling rapidly but whereas <coughs> the temperature of water does not fall that much easily why because its specific capacity very very high so due to which what will happen here water can provide what a more amount of heat more amount of heat for a long time to this wine bottle so that the wine bottle is kept warm actually so that the problem is solved this is the reason why actually water is used as a heat reservoir for a wine and a juice and children one more very very important thing actually so we are suggested to have more amount of water daily so if not what will happen dear children here the problem is that if we do not have a more water if you do not consume more amount of water what happens you know so during summer you know the atmosphere temperature will be raising like anything so due to which what will happen our body temperature also is raised and during winter as the atmosphere temperature is falling our body temperature also falls so due to that what will happen 
द ऑर्गान्स मे नाट वर्क प्रॉपरली ऑर्गान्स मे नाट वर्क प्रॉपरली इफ यू हैव इफ यू ड्रिंक मोर अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर इफ यू ड्रिंक मोर अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर वॉट विल हैपन द स्पेसिफिक एज स्पेसिफिक कैपासिटी ऑफ वाटर विल बी मोर डेफिनेटली द वाटर विच इज इन आवर बॉडी डज नाट अलो आवर बॉडी टेम्परेचर टू गो अप एंड टू गो मिनिमम सो दट आवर बॉडी टेम्परेचर इज मेन्टेन नॉर्मली सो चिलड्रेन This is the reason why we are suggested. So every one of us should drink more amount of water daily. Children, now we will discuss the examples of high and low heat capacity. So what happens when species heat uh, heat capacity is high? What happens when heat capacity is low? So under this, the first thing is that we are going to learn under this. The base of cooking pan is made thick, and at the same time, the base of electric press also made thick. And children, did you remember calorimeter? In calorimeter, the copper vessel is made with a thin sheet of copper only. Why it is with a thin sheet of copper only? First, let us discuss why the base of cooking pan is made like a thick only. Why not thin? So let me give you here one clarity. Children, let us take a two vessels like a cooking pan only. Pan or a vessel, anything is okay. Fine. So let us say here the thickness is more here. Here the thickness is more. So here thickness is less, which means as here thickness is more, definitely more is a mass here. Mass is more, more mass it will be, and it will be less mass. Here is a less mass. And children, already we have discussed in the previous class that heat capacity or thermal capacity depends on mass. Depends on mass means more the mass, more the heat capacity. Less the mass, less the heat capacity. So here in this case, in first vessel A, let us say it's the vessel B. In the vessel A case only, what will be happen here? More heat capacity will be there. More heat capacity. Whereas here it is a less heat capacity. Less heat capacity. So what if a vessel will have more heat capacity? What if a vessel will have low heat capacity? Did you learn? Once a vessel will have more heat capacity, means what will happen? You know. So when when you are trying to cook something. so then uh, some amount of heat is given then the pan or vessel gets heated very slowly and the heat energy also is given to the food items very slowly so that they are cooked properly and after cooking also what happens you know as its uh, heat capacity is more which can keep the food items warm for a long time but whereas the material which is made with like you know who's like a base is like a not a, a thick who's like a base is a very thin then what happens whatever the heat energy is given to the vessel immediately it is given to the food items then they are over cooked over cooked so okay if they are cooked also what will happen after cooking also the food which is there in this vessel with a uh, less thickness less thickness less thickness what happens they may not be like warm for a long time so the reason why are we preferring or even why the base of the cooking pan is a made thick means actually due to which heat capacity is increased so once heat capacity is more what happens the food items in that particular vessel will be warm for a long time that is what actually we want and come to the second one even just to take the even case of electric press also dear children so if its base is not made thicker if it is very thin let us assume so then we are, you are trying to iron some shirt then what happens you know the electric press gets heated very faster when you try to like uh, iron any shirt or your cloth something you know it get burned like anything okay so there will be a problem if the electric press is made is made thicker so due to which what happens its mass will be more due to which its heat capacity will be more so it gets heated very slowly very slowly so that nicely you can you can take a iron of your shirts or a cloths even when there will be power cut also when there will be power cut also as electric press is made thicker is made with thicker so its heat capacity will be more due to which it does not lose heat easily heat easily so what happens so for a long time for some more time also though there is a power cut after that also some more time you can continue doing that iron so this is how actually this why actually the base of cooking pan is made thick at the same time the base of electric press made thick and come to the calorimeter children did you remember what is calorimeter remember what is calorimeter calorimeter is what is a cylindrical vessel made up of with thin sheet of copper thin sheet of copper 
what is the purpose of calorimeter it is used to find the amount of heat lost or amount of heat gained and on which principle does it work it works on the principle of calorimetry calorimetry that is fine but here in calorimeter why we are using why are we using thin copper vessel only why not thick as i told you that as its thickness is less as its thickness is less its mass will be less due to which it has less heat capacity so as vessel has a less heat capacity children it can absorb the negligible amount of heat energy from the contents actually that is what actually we want that is the reason why calorimeter is made up of with thin copper vessel only thin copper vessel only so dear children so these are the topics which we have discussed today so let us uh, recall once what we have discussed today we have discussed the consequences of high specific capacitor water dear children uh, the specific capacitor water is 1 calorie per gram degree celsius or 4200 joule per kg kelvin so due to the high capacitor high specific capacitor water only the climate near the sea shore is a moderate and the water is used as a heat reservoir and water is used as a coolant effective coolant and uh, farmers will fill their fields with water only with water only then we discuss about uh, examples of high and low thermal capacity here we discuss why the base of cooking pan is made thick even why the base of electric press is made thick then why calorimeter is made up of with thin copper sheet only children in next session completely we are going to solve the numericals thanks for watch watching if you like the video please share and like the channel thank you so much all the